All right, guys, welcome to another review with me, John. Today I'm doing something pretty interesting. I'm doing a review of the Curious Number One, and this is a Curious Elixir, and it has zero percent alcohol. This drink here is marketed towards people who want to go out and have a cocktail but for some reason or another cannot have alcohol. A lot of alternatives at bars or what people are drinking is things like juice, soda, seltzer water, or those really disappointing non-alcoholic beers or wines. There's not really a good cocktail if you can't have alcohol. Doesn't matter if you're a recovering alcoholic, you're the designated driver for the day, you might be pregnant, or for whatever reason. This product is geared towards those people. And as you can see on the back, it says that there's zero alcohol, 100% organic. Curious number one, it's a booze free and ugh, herbaceous. Um, ode to our favorite dark cocktails. Yes, best served with friends. Yeah, see, it has the symbol for friends on it. Ingredients organic juice blend, organic spice mix, and carbonated filtered water. In this 11 and a half ounce glass, it says it contains two servings with 85 calories, 0.4 grams of fat, 15 milligrams of sodium, 19 total carbs, 18 sugars. So double that up if you're gonna drink the whole thing. On the package, it does recommend that you serve this with like a lemon wedge as a garnish, which I don't have. So we'll just have to imagine that I have an orange wedge on top of this. So the actual juice and and the actual spices they use for this is actually a secret recipe. Um, it's not on the bottle, it wasn't in the package, it's not on their website. So you don't know exactly what their secret recipe is for curious number one. There we go. Let's give it four see what that cocktail looks like. I have two uh, large pieces of ice in here. Let me just sip out the water that's melted. Let's give this a pour. As you can see, it's a dark reddish brown color. It has some fizz to it. Not a whole lot, but some fizz. So it kind of has the color of a decent cocktail, I would say. If someone had a glass like this with some ice in it and an orange wedge on top of it at a bar, you would probably assume they're drinking some kind of cocktail. Let's give it a whiff. It definitely has like a dark fruit, almost like a a raisin or a prune smell to it with a little bit of citrus maybe like a grapefruit or a grapefruit rind smell to it and then there's definitely like an herbaly smell as well some kind of spices let's give it a taste and see what's up with this It has some bitter, bitter herb flavor to it. It's definitely not like a juice or a soda where it's just all, all sugar. Wow. It definitely has a spicy herbalness that you get with like a really good craft cocktail where it's not just like a rum and coke. I'm talking about like 
anything from an old fashion to, I don't know, something at a hipster bar with a weird name, and they have some herbs that they slap before they put on top of it. This is pretty good. And I could see why having an orange wedge in this would be nice. Just because you get that, that citrusy whiff to it. If you told me this had alcohol in it, I might believe you. Just because of that, like, that bitter taste that you get with, like, a whiskey. Or the actual bitters they sometimes put in cocktails. Yeah. I think every bar, or at least to the good ones, should have a couple cases of this just in case they advertise it. I, we got curious elixirs. Bring your designated driver. You won't be disappointed. Bring your pregnant wife to the bar. Have some cocktails. It's actually not terrible. And more than not terrible, it's good. As far as cocktails go, this is one of the better ones I've had, even without any alcohol. Definitely, had the, I would, if I had to guess, the fruit juices in here, something like grapefruit, prune juice, or a dark grape juice, or a dark berry, like a blackberry, or a blueberry even, or even a mix of all those, and then herb wise there's definitely some like dried rind or any kind of like citrus rind uh, some kind of root like woody like birch maybe I don't know. It's interesting. It's complex. It has a range of flavors for sure. Not just sweet and not just blech plain. Which is really your choices when you're going down, down, down an alcoholic. You got non-alcoholic beer which has no flavor. You got seltzer water that has no flavor. Or you get juices, which is sugar, or soda, which is sugar, or diet soda, which tastes like it's just sugar. You'll actually enjoy this. And you won't hate being the designated driver. Pregnancy won't be as miserable. I highly suggest that if for whatever reason, or if you're just curious, find some of these. Uh, they are available online. I might, um, I might remember to put a, a link in the description. But uh, they have also a Curious number two, which just came out, and I'm waiting for it to arrive. When it does, I'll definitely test that one out for you guys as well. Especially if this video does good. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Oh, I forgot to give it a rating. It's definitely, as far as cocktails go, a 9.5 out of 10. I'm just leaving that other half just in case Curious 2 is better. But go ahead, try this out yourself. Let me know what you guys think. Until next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.